On March the 26th, 1999, about 500 people drove 30 miles to WIP in the early morning hour to welcome the first transuranic waste shipment from Los Alamos National Laboratory. It was a historical moment for Carlsbad, Hobbs, and our country. This week, we celebrate the arrival of the 13,000th transuranic waste shipment to WIP. It's another huge milestone for the EM program. I want to congratulate everyone involved in this milestone, from the employees at the generator sites who certify and package the waste, to the workers at WIP who mine the disposal rooms and prepare the waste before it is permanently disposed underground. Most importantly, thank you to the drivers who've safely driven more than 15 and a half million miles transporting waste to WIP. Thank you also to the host communities of Carlsbad and Hobbs who welcomed and continue to support WIP. We're especially thankful for community leaders like Carlsbad Mayor Dale Janway and Hobbs Mayor Sam Cobb. As the only deep geologic repository in the nation for transuranic waste, WIP is the cornerstone of DOE's disposal strategy and key to achieving our broad national cleanup strategy. I'm also thankful that Congress recognizes the importance of WIP and continues to support operations and critical infrastructure upgrades. That support is because of the good work that you, the workforce, continue to do every day. I recognize that work has been made even more challenging as we grapple with the ongoing pandemic. You are some of the most dedicated, hardworking professionals in the DOE complex. You perform a noble mission for our country. Thank you, Carlsbad. Thank you, Hobbs. And thank you, New Mexico, for showing what can be accomplished when we work together. Best of luck, and I look forward to celebrating the next major milestone in person. I'd like to take a quick minute or two to congratulate the WIP team for receiving its 13,000th transuranic waste shipment since the facility opened in 1999. This is a huge milestone, and I want to thank you all. From the employees at the generator sites who prepare, package, and certify the waste to the truck drivers who have traveled more than 15 million miles to safely bring waste to WIP, and to the WIP personnel who have maintained the underground and disposed of the nation's transuranic waste. You should all be proud. WIP continues to serve an important role, not only in DOE's cleanup mission, but also in DOE's national defense and science mission. Since opening in 1999, with our first shipments from Los Alamos, legacy transuranic waste at 22 sites around the country have been cleaned up. Each shipment we receive at WIP allows the department to move one step closer to completing its mission of environmental cleanup. I would be remiss if I didn't thank our host communities of Carlsbad and Hobbs. Without them, WIP likely wouldn't exist today. I also want to thank our various state and federal legislators for their continued support for WIP. Your support of critical infrastructure projects ensures that we are able to continue our mission today and into the future. In closing, I want to say again, congratulations on a job well done and for achieving this important milestone. I consider myself fortunate to be associated with such an important national project and look forward to continuing to work beside you as we safely and compliantly ship and dispose of transuranic wastes in the future. WIP team, you have a lot to be proud of lately. We recently completed final preparation to return the 700C ventilation fan back into service. RES and our amazing permitting team learned that the state of New Mexico recently approved our Class 3 permit modification that allow us to continue to work on the utility shaft. The industrial company over at SSCVS completed the erection of the walls on the salt reduction building, allowing us to meet one of EM's priorities for 2021. And our underground operations team completed panel eight mining and then immediately started work on the drifts to the west that will eventually connect the utility shaft when it's completed. And last week, we achieved a huge shipping milestone when cast drivers arrived at the whip site around 11.30 p.m. 
Thursday with a 13,000th throughway shipment. We have so much to be thankful for, but none of this would have been possible without all of you. So congratulations. I'm extremely proud of, and we should all be extremely proud of, what we have accomplished this year despite the challenges of this pandemic that has severely depleted our workforce more than once. I want to thank our customer, the Department of Energy, for partnering with us to complete the many tasks on our plate this year. Last, but certainly not least, I want to send a special thank you to our host communities of Carlsbad, Hobbs, and Loving. If not for the support of elected officials and stakeholders alike, we cannot carry out our important national defense mission. I have no doubt, by working together, we will continue to accomplish great things. You are the engine that powers whip. So thank you for your hard work and for hanging with us through the good and the bad. Hello, my name is Dale Janway and I'm the mayor of the city of Carlsbad. We just want to congratulate the entire WIP workforce on successfully receiving your 13,000 shipment. As most people know, the WIP story goes back decades before the facility officially opened in 1999. Members of the Carlsbad community traveled around the state and the entire country to speak on behalf of bringing this important project to southeast New Mexico. We've had the strongest possible ties since the very beginning. Carlsbad couldn't be any prouder than we are about being the host community for the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant. A very special thank you to our WIP drivers who have gone more than 15.5 million safe miles and to all of our underground operations crews. The project's incredible emphasis on safety is the reason why policymakers and scientists from around the globe visit us. 2021 has been a great year for this project, with accomplishments including returning the 700C ventilation fan back to service, getting our utility shaft modification approved, and completing the mining at Panel 8. Carlsbad is very proud of the role we play in maintaining our nation's national security, and we look forward to many, many more milestones. Thank you, and keep up the good work. Hello, I'm Sam Cobb, the mayor of Hobbs in Mexico, and I'm here today to congratulate the employees of the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant, or WIP is better known here in our area, who received their 13,000th transuranic waste shipment last week. This is another milestone in a long list of successes for the Nuclear Waste Repository. I've always been a firm supporter of the facility because of its contributions to the National Fish Minson that includes cleaning up coal war debris from Department of Energy sites around the country. There are many Lee County and Hobbs residents that work at the WIP site and they're important to our community because they come back to our community and they take time and be part of our community. They also, they put money into our local organizations and we're very appreciative of that. I have personally toured the WIP site several times and I'm very impressed with its operations and the way and the safety measures that they have in place to ensure without hesitation they are redundant and they're very safe for, for us and our community. WIP continues to be a focus of DOE's environmental cleanup strategy and remains the only true waste deep geologic repository in the nation. I am pleased our congressional delegation continues to support the WIP facility by helping to increase funding to improve critical infrastructure at the plant, which means local jobs for Lee County and Hobbs and Hobbs residents for years to come. Thanks again WIP employees for all you do to make our place, a nation a better place to live by cleaning up radioactive contaminated areas around the country. You are some of the best and brightest, and on behalf of the Hobbs community, I applaud your accomplishments and look forward to celebrating your continued successes.